गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सीमा काले सीनियर फिजिशियन डेली डेली इंडिया इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो फार आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज डू दैट एंड स्टार्ट शेयरिंग विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली एस्पेशली दोज हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन ई सी जी लर्निंग so we continue uh, with the uh, ecg session today and we are going to discuss the causes of short pr interval pr interval is a time interval between the onset of atrial depolarization to the onset of ventricular depolarization and this time is 3 to 5 small segments on the ecg that means 0.12 second To zero point two second or two hundred milliseconds. So, if the PR interval is less than three small segments, that means zero point one two second or one hundred twenty milliseconds, then this is called a short PR interval. Now, is the short PR interval always an abnormality? No, it is not so. Sometimes it can occur due to enhanced AV conduction, uh, especially in children. and in pregnant women so it can be physiological also but by and large there are some reasons for short pr interval now uh, you see uh, when we talk about the pr interval the maximum time contribution is of the av node because the impulse when is passing through the av node it is slowed down in the av node this is the quality of av node av node has a speciality and that speciality is slowing down the impulse and this speciality of av node is extremely important physiologically for the functioning of the heart because otherwise atrial depolarization it passes very fast to the ventricular depolarization atria and ventricle may contract at the same time with the effective cardiac output being very very reduced so to prevent that av node is specialized in slow av conduction and secondly there is only one electrical window for atrial depolarization to go into the ventricular depolarization and that is through av node because av node is otherwise surrounded by a fibrous annulus tissue and this fibrous annulus tissue cannot conduct any impulse from atria to ventricles so then how pr interval should uh, reduce other than in the physiological condition so there are certain accessory pathways these accessory pathways are again specialized conduction fibers between atria and ventricle so when the impulse is passing from atria to ventricle through these specialized fibers it is actually bypassing the av node now these specialized fibers do not have the quality of av node of slowing down the av conduction so the conduction will pass from atria to ventricle faster and therefore the pr interval will reduce so what are those conditions of accessory pathway that is wpw and lgl wpw is wolf parkinson white syndrome and lgl is lawn genau levin syndrome and then uh, of course the uh, short pr interval can be because of av nodal rhythm or junctional rhythm now in this av nodal and junctional rhythm the um, uh, the impulse is actually not originating from the sinus node but here somewhere below near the av node so naturally uh, uh, it will pass very uh, very quickly from av node uh, into the bundle of his uh, uh, the distance from as a node to this will be reduced you know because the impulse is originating from here so the pr interval will shorten so now we uh, discuss wolf parkinson white syndrome wolf parkinson white syndrome the accessory pathway is between the atria and the ventricular muscle ventricular muscle it can be right side left side it can be near the interventricular septum so this pathway is like this between the atria and the ventricular muscle that means it is basically between the sinus node and the ventricular muscle this accessory pathway is called bundle of ket so what will happen 
when the impulse passes from the sinus node it will bypass the av node some may go through the av node also so since it will reach very fast the pr interval will reduce so in uh, the pr interval will reduce and uh, there will be a delta wave that is because the ventricle is depolarizing and the uh, ventricular depolarization is slow so initial uh, there will be a slur on the ventricular complex and ventricular complex will widen okay and then subsequently the later part the ventricular depolarization will be through the uh, av nodal uh, and his bundle pathway also so some of the impulses will pass through the accessory pathway giving rise to short pr interval and a delta wave and later the complex will narrow down because of the fusion between the uh, av nodal and his bundle fibers and, and this activation now there is a long genau leven syndrome now this also has an accessory pathway and uh, uh, the pathways are called uh, uh, james fibers or uh, brecken um, brechen maker fibers brechen maker fibers or james fibers all right so uh, the fibers between the uh, atria and bundle of his they are called uh, brecken uh, or brechen maker fibers and the fibers between the uh, atria or sa node and lower part of the av node is called james fibers so here what is the difference basically between the uh, wpw and lj syndrome is in this the fibers are actually uh, going from sa node or uh, to the lower part of av node as in james or bundle of his as in uh, brecken maker uh, fibers so th th therefore the conduction you know here is through actually the normal pathway right the only between sinus node and av node it will be faster so pr interval will come down will will be will be short but rest of the qrs complex will be narrow and there will not be any delta wave and third is uh, the cause is av nodal or junctional rhythm so these are the causes of short pr interval so it could be a normal physiological enhancement such as in child and pregnancy it could be because of accessory pathways such as wpw and long uh, genong levin syndrome uh, long genong levin syndrome and it could be because of junctional rhythm here i'll show you some examples <coughs> now here this is a case of wpw syndrome here you see p and there is actually no pr segment the p wave and uh, directly the qrs has started right so pr send the what is the th three points in uh, wpw the pr interval is short secondly you can see the slur initial slur on the qrs the later part is straight of the qrs complex narrow but initially there is a slur because uh, the impulse is passing through the accessory pathway and activating the ventricles first and ventricular depolarization we know is slow and bizarre but later the impulse from the av node and bundle of his has also come down and activating the ventricle so, there, so that is why the ventricular depolarization later part is normal so in not in effect there will be initial slur this is called delta wave and the, uh, because of this delta wave there will be broadening of the qrs so the qrs will broaden so these are the three features of wpw short pr delta wave and broadening of the qrs complex now i come to lgl syndrome lgl syndrome is just a <coughs> it is generally most of the time associated with tachyarrhythmias and uh, here the um, uh, there is an accessory pathway uh, between the sa node and lower part of the av node uh, or um, in the bundle of his so uh, there is a short pr interval because of the accessory pathway since accessory pathway does not have the quality of av node Uh, slowing down of conduction so the impulse will pass from sa node uh, to the lower part of the av node so pr interval will shorten because of the conduction through accessory pathway and then the rest of the pathway the conduction is same uh, because it is go going from bundle of his to bundle branches and purkinje fibers so the qrs will be narrow here there will not be any delta wave so this is the difference between lgl and um, uh, wpw that only pr interval is short there's no delta wave and there is no widening of the qrs complex now <clears throat> third is the av nodal rhythm now since the p wave is arising uh, originating from the lower part of the av node okay uh, uh, lower part of the atrium sorry or from the av junction then naturally it will conduct very fast into the ventricles 
so there will be a short pr interval but since the direction of the p wave now will change because it is arising from the lower part so it will be uh, retrograde it will be activating the rest of the atria and the direction will be up you know up so it will be inverted uh, in inferior leaves so you can see an inverted p wave uh, this is lead to inverted in inferior lead and pr interval is short and the qrs will be normal so this is a nodal rhythm and uh, or a junctional rhythm so these are the causes of short pr interval and uh, this is enough for today and we'll see you uh, in the uh, we'll meet in the next class and we'll uh, with the causes of pr segment depression and pr segment elevation if at all that is important so jai bharat jai hindustan